Alright, what's going on everybody? Ratchet Wrench is back for another video. Today, we have the Audi S3, and we're going to be doing something that we've been kind of sharing on Instagram for a long time now, so if you've been following us there, you've probably seen it. But if not, unfortunately when I lowered this car, I ended up uh, screwing up the bumper. Um, I kind of just ghetto rigged it for now, but you can see the gap's all messed up, all the tabs are broken. So, I was like, you know, I could get a new one, I could repair this one, or I might as well get the RS3 style. So I ended up getting an RS3 style bumper from BKM Motorsports. I'll link them down below. Pretty much all your aftermarket needs for, um, you know, different grills, different bumpers. If you want to do S5s to your, you know, A5 or whatever the case may be, they're the one-stop shop. Also, before we get into it, I want to mention I did crack the um, the grill when I put when I hit that little curb area. I did crack that, so we will be replacing that. And I actually am completely getting rid of chrome on this car. So this I got a new one, a replacement. It's all black. Um, and it's going to just kind of change the front end. I'm not going to do a really in-depth tutorial on how to put the grill. I have a video of that. I'll link that up above. It's really easy to do. So it's a very good video to link back to. Because this is mainly just going to be the bumper. But we'll slide in here. It's tight in here. So this is the grill I was talking about. I got it all black so there's no chrome anymore. I do like just the chrome of the Audi emblem. I think it's just a nice little touch. I don't want to black it out. So I went with that. Worst case scenario, I could always change it down the line. But here's the bumper. I'm not gonna really pick it up now. It's got some dust on it and everything. I gotta clean it up, but matched the set pang blue very well. A buddy of mine, Dave Sando and his um, paint shop, I'll link that as well down below. He did a really good job, so. So I'm pretty stoked to install this. It also did come with the RS3 style front lip, and that will match the side skirts that I have that I just put on in the previous video, the Maxon one. So all that gloss black is gonna be nice. And then, also, this little piece here, see if we can get out of here without damaging nothing. That silver that's on the car right now, I ended up, like I said, I'm going gloss black with everything. So I went gloss black. And that's just like an inlay. It will sit on the bumper. We'll install that in a little bit. But some people paint matches to that. Some people keep it that silver. And I just chose to do gloss black. So that's pretty much everything we need. Um, BKM Motorsports supplied all the hardware. You know, we got new little grill inserts down low. Got all the hardware, got everything we need, tabs, screws, so it's going to be a really easy plug and play style video and I'm, I'm excited to see this front end chain so let's just dive right into it and start removing the, um, the OEM bumper. So for some odd reason, it started to rain when there's no signs of it in the forecast. It actually hailed for a second, which was weird. We're just going to start assembling some of the pieces on this bumper. Might as well just do them while we got them here. Got these nice little black little vents here. It might be a little tougher because it's got paint on it, so it's going to be a little thicker. But this should just kind of pop in. So we got those in that you just saw, those little vents. Now we just gotta put this little, uh, it's like a little air duct. It doesn't have any functionality to it. It's just probably, I, I don't know what the purpose of this is, but <laughs> to be quite honest, but it goes from the backside. It's just gonna slide into those tabs and lock in place. It's gonna look like that. So since we put those grills in, um, just keep in mind this is an aftermarket piece. There's gonna be some tabs that are not lined up perfectly as you expect it. So we just put some glue on that and we're gonna let that dry a little bit. So we're gonna make our way over here. Since now it's sunny out for some odd reason. Um, and I have the headlight washers. I got the whole front PDS system. So I'm gonna have to transfer all that over to that. I'm gonna take this line here that comes from the washer reservoir assembly. I'm gonna plug that so I can try and get as much um, washer fluid out of the system as possible. So I'm gonna get an oversized bolt here. There's many ways you could plug it. You could use rubber plugs, whatever. I personally just use bolts. Fits in perfectly, so you gotta be careful because there is a plastic, um, you know, little tab right there. So you wanna be careful not to break that. And I feel like that's gonna be on there pretty good. So I'm gonna get some hose clamp, uh, you know, removers and get that thing out of the way. So give me a sec. 
as you can see, we got the bolt in there and made a little bit of a mess, which is you know bound to happen. You got to plug it and it's coming out with pressure. But now that gives us some more access to get out a little bit. And the only thing holding it in now is just the connector for the PDS system. And this bumper that we're putting on is compatible for um, Audi A3s too, so you might not have some of these steps, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, now that's everything. We're gonna transfer over, you know, the headlight washers and the wiring and all the grill. I think the only thing we need to reuse for that new bumper is the bolts for the grill, which are right here. So I'll have to reuse those, but everything else is pretty much brand new. Yeah, so we got that one out of the way. Now the last piece we gotta do was before installing the grill and everything is um, pretty much just to put this little inlay in there and it'll kind of just sit on this whole thing. There's a bunch of tabs here that will go in. Uh, it's going to fight us a little bit because it is small, so it's, you don't want to like warp it or anything like that. But I'm going to have Wes help me. We're going to put it on time lapse and go to town. So we got everything pretty much bolted up, or not bolted up, just kind of laid in there. Uh, it was really tough. This almost seems like it's not long enough. And then again, like I said, it's aftermarket, so I did have a crack there. Well, I'm gonna have to repair that. Got some scuffs here in the clear, so I'll, I'll touch that up. I'm not worried about that. This I'm gonna definitely fix up before, once I put it on the car so it's in a fixed position, because that could definitely get worse. So once again, you know, it is aftermarket, it happens. It's not the greatest fit, but it's definitely the cheaper solution compared to an OEM. Um, but yeah, so that's that. We'll do the lip and the grill, but um, let's transfer over all like the electronics, the washer, um, the headlight washers, and just kind of get the basics, all the sensors and everything. But overall, it does look pretty, pretty mean. You know, no one's even gonna really notice that from afar, especially with my car being so low. Um, you know, it's kind of be unrecognizable, but let's just start tearing this one apart slapping them over. Last thing we gotta do to take off from here is the uh, headlight washer assembly. It's a T25, there's two screws on each side and that will let it be free. All right, so now that we have the bracket itself loose, we could shove this little tab, this little piece up front, forward and we have to just get it pry it off those tabs down there and it will release that. I tried reusing these ones from the OEM bumper and they don't fit on the aftermarket ones. So you gotta use the aftermarket ones, but pretty much just kind of get your screwdriver in there and kind of wiggle back and forth to get it op over that tab without breaking it. Perfect. And oh, get the other side off. Plastic in the cold never works properly, but perfect. So we got that side off, Put the other side off pretty easy to not mess these up because the right hand side is the one with that little triangular connector there so it's pretty easy to not mess up go ahead and install these gonna stick this through and just kind of get those tabs lined in it there we go now these will just kind of go in there and we'll just have to drill these into the back of those two t25s
says you just saw the new grill is in. I'm gonna say, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. This is an honest review. I'm not the biggest fan of this bumper. A lot of imperfections that you know I thought would have been right down forms and stuff. It is what it is. I made it work. Something you just kind of gotta minimize and get rid of. But uh, you know, that's a part of doing mechanics. Well, yeah, now we're gonna actually put the front lip on, which is right here. We'll open this thing up. Let's do that right now. Let's see what's going on. This thing's probably gonna get cracked, knowing my dumb ass with how low it is. But hey, as long as it can last for a couple days, it'll all be worth it. As long as it can last till Panda Fest, and then after That's Panda true. Fest, you can. After that, then sure. it's fair game. We get a little ratchet. Damn, that's perfect. Haven't heard you say that today. I know. Well, we'll see if the fitment's perfect, but as of right now, it's not bad looking. So, so we're on the final step. Pretty much, just going to be installing the lip. Um, we do have some double-sided tape here that we're going to peel off, but right now we have it kind of clamped up with some makeshift uh, quick grip clamps, and it's it's kind of a better fit. I'm kind of shocked that this actually fits pretty damn well, but I'm going to pull the double sided tape on both sides and then they give pre-drilled slots we got a bunch of self tappers we're just kind of gonna send them home so let's get this double sided tape off without undoing all this stuff and we'll go from there Alright, so the lip is on. It looks freaking phenomenal. I hope it stays that way and doesn't get ruined from being so low. I might have to raise my car up. It will give that ground clearance effect. So if I raise it up a little bit, it'll still kind of look low. Um, we just mocked it up off camera. You do need to remove these little um, little channels for those little secondary intercoolers right there. Um, otherwise, you have some clearance issues. So we had to remove these. It's pretty easy. There's just some tabs. Just kind of push it out of the way and it breaks free. So we're going to sit you on a time lapse reinstall this thing put all the screws back together and see what it looks like on the finished result i'm super excited now i was a little pissed off at, the, at first with the fitment and everything but look at it i mean there's some imperfections that i noticed that you might pick up on camera but we're going to fix those another day we're kind of running out of daylight so let's throw this thing on and, and freaking get some cinematics man Freaking get some cinematics, man. Cinematics, man. So as you can see by those cinematics that Wes just put up, 
the whole front end is game changer, man. This, when we did the, um, the grill a long time ago, just the grill, the RS3 style grill, that was game changer, but now this is extremely game changer. Paired with the, um, the new Maxxon uh, side skirts I put on in the last video, and the bronze Rohanas that we put on, this gloss black front lip, and the whole front end, just no silver at all, no, oh my God, I, I lost words. Like, I don't even know how to speak. It's just so sinister looking. Um, from a camera, I'm sure it looks freaking phenomenal. You know, um, there's some imperfections, like I've been saying, and stuff that I can, you know, fix. But overall, out of the B-Cam Motorsports um, bumper, I give it like a nine out of 10. I was getting a little frustrated, but, um, you know, in the end, it really did turn out great. So I think it's just, you gotta be patient with it, you know, and just, just be careful. It's plastic, you know, so you, you probably should've used a heat gun to kind of get it going. But this is really a quick little, not even a tutorial, just more of an oversight of how this was. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up, follow this, build on Instagram. Keep it short and sweet. See you in the next video, peace. Thank uh you. -huh.